Veterans Day is Friday, November 11th, to talk with me a little bit about the importance of Veterans Day and what is planned here in the town of Barnstable. I welcome a wonder group, wonderful group of gentlemen. Scott Dutra is the Assistant Director of Veterans Services. Good morning, Scott. Good morning. Thank you so much. Uh, Joe Gentile is one of our remaining World War II veterans, U.S. Navy. Joe, thank you so much for jo your service and thank you for joining us today. Mm -hmm. And also joined us by, joined here is uh, Forrest Thorpe Jr., a veteran <laughs> of the Marine Corps and a member of the Board of Directors for the Veterans Outreach Center. Forrest, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you. So I wanted to start uh, by talking a little bit about what it means to be a veteran. And Scott, I believe you are a veteran as well. So yes. maybe perhaps uh, share a little bit about your experience and, and you know, what, what you were left with after your service. Um, really the camaraderie. Uh, you know, other individuals that uh, are, were in the service and so forth. Um, you gain a lot of friends, you go all over the world. Uh, in my case, I did. I get to go to quite a few places since I was uh, career Air Force. Um, and now, with the um, job that I have, I get to help serve veterans, which is, uh, you know, it's a win-win situation. I really enjoy it. Wonderful. And Joe, for you, the importance of your service. <coughs> Well, I joined the Navy uh, the day of my uh, 18th birthday, and uh, I was uh, very proud to become a part of the service, and uh, I loved the, uh, the Navy, and uh, I served in the South Pacific for around three years. And that was very interesting. And I met people from all parts of the country, north, south, east, and west. And uh, I made many friends. And uh, I, uh, after serving, I came home and uh, I joined the veterans organizations and, and I tried to be pretty active in it. And, uh, uh, well, and, and I, here I am amongst fellow veterans, and uh, I really was happy to have served the country as a World War II veteran. Wonderful. Well, thank you for your service. And, and Forrest, for you, I'll reminisce a little bit about your, your, your time in the service and what it means to you. Uh, I joined the Marine Corps uh, junior year uh, in high school. Uh, then I went to uh, boot camp, uh, then to uh, Camp Pendleton. I uh, was trained on the 106. It's a recoilless rifle, but it's actually like a small cannon. And then uh, after that, the uh, Marine Corps put me in the MPs and uh, met a lot of, lot of nice guys. And uh, it wasn't uh, that you were black, white, uh, Puerto Rican. Uh, we were all green. And the major thing we have in the Marine Corps is Semper Fidelis. When you see a Marine, you always say Semper Fi or Semper Fidelis. It's, it's carried on through the years, you know. And then actually we got the uh, Marine Corps ball November 10th, and then the day after Veterans Day. I always wish that I could uh, march Veterans Day with my grandfather and my father. Mm -hmm. My grandfather was uh, World War I vet in the Army, and my dad was, uh, like Joe, he was on the uh, uh, battleship North Carolina. Uh, with the helmet diver, he went all the way down to the bottom. Mm. And that was always uh, one of my dreams, but I had lost my father when I was nine, and I lost my grandfather in 1969. So I didn't get that dream, but I haven't missed a Veterans Day or a Memorial Day parade. What I'm really hearing from all of you is that sense of service to community, of, of, um, of community itself, of, of really fellowship. And I liked what you said, you know, it's not black, white, 
it's it, you're all green. And so I think that now, these days more than ever, to be able to hold on to that sense of unity, of, of belonging to something, and, and being able to support one another is, is so very important. And I think um, that's the message we're probably going to see on Friday um, when, we, when we honor our veterans for Veterans Day. So what does Veterans Day mean to, to all of you? Why is it important uh, for, for the community to come together and honor those who have served or who continue to serve? Uh, uh, to me, I mean, it is, it's that service to all uh, veterans, to even those that are serving now, like you said, those who are in the service. And it doesn't have to be that they're active duty right now. They could be in the Guard or Reserves. You know, they've, they've put their hand up, they made an oath that they will protect the, the nation. And um, so to me, it's, it's just letting the community know and be aware that we are out there, and we are out there even when they're asleep. Absolutely. Protecting. <laughs> Wonderful. Forrest, I wanted to, to ask you a little bit about the Veterans Outreach Center, and I think that there are so many so many varied needs that veterans have, and certainly, Scott, our Department of Veterans Services, or Division of Veterans Services, helps that. But can you talk to me a little bit about the role of the Veterans Outreach Center? Uh, we help veterans in all different uh, parameters. Uh, housing, <coughs> uh, we can help them in school uh, if they need to upgrade their discharge. Uh, we have a food pantry. We have a van, we can drive veterans to their doctor's appointments. Uh, we have housing. Uh, matter of fact, we got a, a, a new house in Dennis, uh, which is gonna start being built in, uh, I believe, in April. So we cover just about all of the Cape and any veterans' needs in, along with all the help that Scott gives us. Absolutely, and and I know you know housing is certainly a big issue. I think we're hearing a lot, um, you know, unfortunately about homeless population, homeless veterans, those yes. suffering from um, mental illness, uh, some some trauma, and so certainly um, finding help for those who really are most in need is important. And Scott, is that something that, that our division helps with as well? Uh, well, we actually don't do any any of the. Um, say like PTSD or traumatic brain injuries or anything sure. like that. The Vet Center on West Main Street, there it's an awesome group of guys over there and gals. They, uh, I send them over there all the time when they come to visit me and you know, they say they might have you know, an issue or whatever. And, uh, and I tell them, you know, even if you don't get to file a claim for it or not, they can help you. And I think that's the major thing. Go seek the help. If you think at all that you might have some issues from the time that you were in the service, mm -hmm. go talk to them. You know, who, who better to, to talk to? And uh, they understand and, and they can help. Wonderful. Now, Joe, I think I feel like I've seen you at almost every uh, Veterans Day, <laughs> every Memorial Day um, for the past decade, uh, the, at least that I've been reporting here on the Cape. So what, what keeps you going? Why is it important for you to put the uniform on and to participate in these events? Well, I've been... Uh, past commander for the, since 2004 to 2013. And uh, our role is we do help veterans. And uh, we need volunteers. And I urge that all veterans step up to the plate, get in there, get out of the closet, and join us because we're we're trying to help all the veterans. Uh, we sold our building, and as you might say, it's payback, payback time. We donate to all the, uh, everyone, all the local organizations, you know, that seek help. We help the Outreach Center, we help the people in Guam, we help uh, needy veterans that need help. So, um, uh, now you mentioned you know helping veterans get out of the closet. Is it your perception that there are a lot of veterans out there who might need help, who may be a little afraid of asking for, for it? For example, one day Memorial Day, I was standing on the sideline, and I don't know Gary uh, Brown. He says, "What are you doing out there?" He says, "Get in here." So I just went in there and joined him, and from then on. It's all history. <laughs> <laughs> 
We love that. Well, we love <laughs> seeing you, Joe. And again, it's just wonderful to have you here. So let's talk a little bit about what's happening on Friday. It's a pretty uh, traditional ceremony. It starts mm -hmm. at 10 o'clock uh, right on the Village Green. What do we have planned uh, for, for this Friday? So well, basically the same as uh, we've done in the past. Uh, hopefully the weather will cooperate this year. Last year we had to cancel because of weather, but uh, it's, it's looking good so far. Uh, we do have alternate plans uh, to either meet across the street in the church if there's inclement weather. Uh, or mm -hmm. possibly across the street in the armory. Uh, but um, we, we kind of gather around uh, by 9.30, no later then, and then uh, we kick off at 10 o'clock. They go around the road here, come back to the Main Street side of the green, and then uh, we kick off the festivities. Wonderful. So, uh, we and have you typically have a keynote speaker, and I know there's going to be a poetry reading. Uh, who is this year's Correct. keynote speaker? Uh, the keynote speaker this year is Captain Daniel Speaker, Speecher, and uh, he's from uh, <coughs> the uh, Joint Base up here. Wonderful. He is the uh, uh, Commander of Operations Support Flight 6 Space Warning Squadron. And uh, I'm looking forward to hearing what he has to say. And yes, we uh, since we didn't get to do the Memorial Day um, Peace poem. Uh, we are going to do it this year Wonderful. at the uh, Veterans Day. Great. Well, we'll, we'll hope that the weather uh, holds off. So, just yeah. final thoughts on on remembering veterans. What should people keep in their minds this Veterans Day? Um, what's the best way for them to honor those who have served? Always remember that we're there for them. Wonderful. Yeah. And Joe, for you, what would you like people to think about? Well, I hope people will remember veterans year round, not just two That's days. Right. Not just Veterans Day or Memorial Day, but always. Wonderful. And Forrest, for you. Uh, I would hope that the uh, people fly their flags in honor of the uh, veterans that served and the ones overseas also. Wonderful. Well, thank you all so much for, for joining us, and we'll see Thanks you Friday us. on the Village Green. All right. Thank, you, thank you. you. My guest today, Forrest Thorpe, uh, Marine Corps veteran <coughs> of the Cape and Islands uh, Veterans Outreach Center on the Board of Directors, Joe Gentile, of course, a World War II veteran with the U.S. Navy, and Scott Dutra, the Assistant Director of Veteran Services. Again, the Town of Barnstable Soldiers Veterans Day program takes place Friday, November 11th, starts at 10 o'clock on the Hyannis Village Green. I'm Sarah Golden.